All right, folks, so we just finished our Philo TV free trial membership, 48-hour um, membership, and it was absolutely free. And I just want to let you guys know my experience and, you know, some things that I noticed and actually wrote down. So um, my experience with Philo TV, great service, great channel lineup, as you can see right here. You have a lot of great cable channels um, but one thing you will not get is movie channels or sports channels you know it's just strictly cable cable programming so if you're a sports head um, Philo TV might not be right for you if you're in the movies might not be right for you now how it works is um, say for example AMC AMC Obviously, they play movies sometimes on a um, on a platform. So, if AMC airing movies, you can watch them movies. You can watch some of the movies they air on demand. IFC, same thing. Sundance, same thing. You can watch movies that they air. Now, them, you're not going to get a whole list of movies. You're not going to have a, a whole plethora, a whole genre, thrillers, drama. You're not going to have that with Philo TV. It's just strictly TV. And I must say, I enjoyed it for the 48 hours that I had it. You know, that's one of the things I enjoyed. I uh, enjoyed catching up. I actually did a lot of wa TV watching because I wanted to catch up on some programs that I haven't seen in a while, which was ID, um, which I almost got away with. And I was able to watch some movies that were only available for the uh, Mother's Day weekend or the Mother's Day week. So uh, Rocky, they have all five Rockies playing and, you know, cooking shows and stuff like that. <clears throat> um you know, BT has some good shows coming up, CMT, you know, a lot of great programming. But I will say this. One thing I noticed right off the bat, a lot of commercials. Now, I don't know if those commercials were coming from Philo or they were coming from the programming programming channel themselves. I don't know if they was, for example, I don't know if they was coming from A&E or from Philo because one thing I kept track of is I watched an hour-long program. And then I watch, ended up having to watch around 25 minutes worth of commercials. Now, that's something I'm not, you know, I'm not used to doing. Even with the free platforms that I watch, with Tuba TV, Sony Crackle, I'm not used to watching 25 minutes worth of commercials. Even with a two and a half hour long movie or two hour movie, I'm not used to watching that many commercials, you know. And the thing is, they let you know, you know, they say five minutes, you know, movie will resume after five minutes of ads and stuff like that. So it was a lot of commercials. And, you know, one thing I was thinking about is if, for example, A&E is playing commercials. OK, why are they doing this? Because they're obviously charging Philo to hold their content. And then on top of that, they're going to air commercials with the content. Um, I just felt that was, if that's the case, then these networks are being greedy. And um, that's something I'm going to look out for, you know, I'm um, look into because if these networks are charging people to hold their content and they're going to air commercials within the content, why are they constantly going up on the prices? Same thing with pay TV, you know, they always going up with the prices. That's why it's always a content dispute with companies like, Dish Network, DirecTV, Charter Cox. It's always a content dispute because, because these content holders or content creators, they want to go up on their price. So I'm just, you know, is that, is it pure greed? I, I'm betting it's pure greed. But, you know, my overall experience with Philo TV, you know, um, I would say uh, after my, after my membership, after my free trial, yeah, it was some shows that I missed, but I don't miss the commercials. The commercials really stuck out to me because after a year, probably about three or four years of, of being a, 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 a literal cord cutter, because the cord cutting term has changed nowadays, as a lot of you people might notice. And I actually get um, emails and comments, people telling me, hey, you, you're not representing cord cutting because... You're showing paid streaming services, but you know these companies lean more toward the majority, and we all know that everything's controlled by mainstream media. 
So if the majority of people are flocking toward pay streaming services, then mainstream media is going to pick up on that and they're going to start to control it. You know, if you Google core cutting right now, nine times out of well, 90% of the content you're going to see is going to be for Netflix, Hulu, Sling TV, Direct TV now. You know, I mean, that's just is what it is. Mainstream media has picked up on what the consumers want. We as consumers respond to it, and mainstream media just take it, and they just run away with it. So the term cord cutting has obviously changed um, to much of our dismay, to to my dismay, you know, because, you know, cord cut to me was about over-the-air antennas and converter boxes for recording because, I mean, you get you an over there antenna and a converter box, you're good to go. Because with a converter box, you can record anything. It don't, it don't care if it's encrypted or not. You can record it. You can transfer it to your computer. You can transfer it to your phone. Watch it on the go. The only thing is, is I think to a lot of people, it's not convenient enough. It's not really convenient because you have to do this. You have to transfer it, take a, a hard drive and transfer it to your phone from your computer and uploads and all this so <clears throat> you know a lot of people just you know cord cutting is streaming now that's pretty much basically what it is cut and paste but philo tv you know um in my experience is it worth the 20 dollars? absolutely and one thing about the free trial membership you get the the cheaper package so you know what let's see here you know what you get the um, twenty dollar package. Yeah, you get the twenty dollar package. <clears throat> I believe it's two packages. You get the sixteen dollar package, and with forty five channels, and then you get the twenty dollar package with fifty eight channels. So with the free trial, you get the highest package. But is it worth it for twenty dollars? I say absolutely. You know, um, because there was a lot of programming on there. I got the lot of. I got to watch a lot of good movies. A lot of great TV shows I got to catch up on. You know, I watched as much TV as I, 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 I could. And I was going to watch it from my computer and record the screen. But uh, it was worth my time, really. But, um, yeah, Philo TV, you know, if I had to rank it. Now, keep in mind, folks, I'm going to be doing a free trial. I'm going to be, you know, li doing live previews of these um, these services once a week. So, but, you know, right now I get Philo TV uh, a 7 out of 10. And I'm going I'm, I'm to work on a system where I can, you know, narrow it down more tightly. But I would say a 7 out of 10 because of the price. It's only 20 bucks, and that's like one-third of your cable bill, one-fourth, depending on, you know, what service you got. But you get a lot of big-name channels, AMC, A&E, ID, ISC, but it all depends on what you like. And with Philo TV, there is no option for sports or premium content. There's no no option at all. They, they just don't offer it. So if you're trying to watch the NBA Finals, you will not catch it. There's no TNT, no TBS, and there's also no locals. So with Philo TV, you're going to also need an over-there antenna. Now, if you own about that, then you're a new age cord cutter. Because, like I said before, cord cutting before was about over-there antennas. So... Um, you're a new age core card, and I think everybody pretty much is going to gravitate toward that because, I mean, you know, you think about the term SUV, sub all terrain vehicle. When SUVs came, first came out, they was more about off-roading. <clears throat> now, um, SUVs are more about luxury because it's supply and demand, you know. They, they, they only going to give you what you want with the majority of consumers. Believe it or not, you're in one category. You are a consumer. They're going to narrow down the specific consumer, and they're going to market to that majority. I mean, that's what it is with everything, you know. Um, that's how it is. That's just how the world is. I think if people together can, well, people as a whole can get can get together and, and come up, you know, and, and actually um, agree on something and just say, hey, we're going to stick to this, you know. 
and we're not going to let them, you know, do this to us. But I think it's far, you know, few and far between when it comes to actually wanting to get rid of streaming, you know, because for a lot of people, what's $20, what's $40, what's, 50, what's, what's $100 a month, and I could take that content with me on the road. If I go out of town, I can watch that content as well. What's $100 a month? My family still can watch it at home, and then I can watch it on the road. I mean, you taking your TV with me, and I think that's what the direction, that's how these companies are seeing it as well. They, they starting to, in 2019, like I said in previous videos, they, cord cutting is going to hit this peak, and then the dust is going to settle, and then at the end of 2019, we're going to see the who the top dogs going to be at the end of this year but um you know the people control the market it's always been like that the people control the market we're not in a communist um communist um country so we control the market and the majority controls or the majority the the media only pays attention to the majority pretty much you know so if you're not part of the part of the majority you talking to yourself you know so it is what it is folks um new age cord cutting is what i call it um i've become part of it internet is everywhere our phones have internet internet is so, so easy to, easy to access i mean you know um and I, I don't pay for services i use services like pluto tv tuba tv Sony Crackle, I mean, and I use my over there antenna, so that's all I use. And um, I'm completely happy, been that way for about three or four years, so. But that is it, folks. Um, let me know what you think about Philo TV if you, if you use it. And um, what you think about these new age cord cutters, you know? Um, do you consider yourself a new age cord cutter? Um, or are you sticking old school? You still got your, your rabbit ears or your over there antenna? get the roof antenna or rabbit and or attic antenna and um be sure to hit that like share and subscribe button if you enjoyed the video and i will talk to you guys next time